remains of Edith Finch. Welcome back, VOD channel. Or people watching in the middle of the night on the VOD channel during the subathon. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Don't sleep. Wake up. Okay, there we go. That woke up the lurkers who are watching the late night VOD. Anyways. Is this a horror game? I don't know. Am I Edith? Am I Edith? I hope that volume sounds good now. We'll see. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. Is it good now? And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. A house from the beginning. Yo, my trip is immaculate though. What shoes am I wearing? Sheesh. I think I can turn it up just a little bit. Turn it up to like 20. That's the plot twist. I can zoom in a little bit. Okay. So this game has a lot of really, really highly I praising reviews. 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. I'm excited to see what it's like. That's a cool ass mailbox. You aren't Edith. I don't know who I am. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Marked urgent. Open immediately. Is that volume better though? Doesn't sound too quiet. I just don't want it to sound too quiet. A little quiet. I'll turn it back up. I'll put it on this amount, 16. I All haven't right. been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. R.I.P. Lewis. No trespassing. Immediately ignores. Trespassers will be prosecuted. What are you gonna do? Prosecute me? I look like I'm five foot three. My mother left me a key but didn't tell me what it Thanks, unlocked. Thanks, dude. I left her, mother left me a key but didn't tell me what Maybe it would she unlock. I know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Sounds like a parroting. It looks pretty good I want to on my screen. A long time, but I saw a few have prints. I think it's a two or three hour game, maybe four. <gasps> a pony. Was that Rudolph or Blixen? I don't know. Even after I inherited the house. I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. This could not be up to OSHA code. There's no way. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. That is a cool ass looking house, but there's nowhere that's safe. No. Missing. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Milton Finch is missing. Goofy ass house. This looks like something out of like codename Kids Next Door. All right, so Milton is a goner. How much money would it take for you to drink that swamp water chat? About the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Hello, neighbor ass, look at the house. No, she as for a, a little. Year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Key. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Like 20? I'd do it for 20. Maybe it's the back door. Can I like lift this up? I'm just like expected to get jump scared. The house itself had been waiting for me. Okay. 
manure, Gary's pot mix. It's the only brand I'd use. Let's go enter through the back door with permission, of course. May I? I'll go through the doggy door, if you know what I'm saying. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I like how the text pops up. That's kind of cool. Can I drink this shit? Sorry, what? Fuck! This isn't a horror game! Bro! The power had been turned off the night we left. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Years. But you never know. I felt like I was home. It'd be so cool if games had like 4D qualities or like sh a shot of something will come through the mic to your nose holes. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I feel like I can smell this place. Like the dustiness, the mothballs. The expired Chinese food. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. That's real. It was a pizza place for my family. Only one pizza place. What happened here? It's just... The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Jesus. I'm assuming it's Milton's disappearance that really fucked him up. Eddie? So Eddie was in a wheelchair. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine great grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Edie. That's what I said. Nothing Damn. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. What do you want them to shoot up your nose? I'm just saying, like, somebody farts in the game. You get a little spray inside your nose just for immersion's sake. Same thing with this house. It definitely smells dusty and musty. So you could get, like, I'm workshopping an idea. Just so you get the full effect. It's supposed to be immersive, guys. Barbara. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Barbara Finch, movie director? Is that Jason wearing a mask? Wait, is that Bigfoot? Huh? Bugs. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Mm. We got some bodies in the basement. Cellos, we're musicians. There's a violin. Wait, that's not a cello, that's a viola. Violin, viola, right? You know what they say about Bigfoot, right? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Hi, Rex. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. 4'11". I mean, 4'6", age 11. Indian slash white. I was remembering all the details about him in case we see him. What is this door? What the heck is that? It's sealed off. It's got like caulking. Dude, okay, I know this is like reserved for people who can't get up the stairs. I've always wanted one of these in my house. Like if I had an exuberant amount of money, just like way too much money, I would just install this just because. I just want to ride After that. Mountain disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Grandma? Grandma did that? Okay, 
I go back here I first? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. This is a dope ass room though. Is this wallpaper or is this painted? It's just like wallpaper. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. When will this key ever work? Oh, <gasps> it worked. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Wait, what the heck? How do I, do I push? I push. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I don't know if I want to keep going that way. I want to go this way first. All right, whatever. I'll go this way. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Huh? We're going to learn some dark, dark truth. I grew up looking at Molly's room. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Yo, man, I hope you're enjoying the day, brother. Feel better. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. With caulk. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something This is cool. The POV changes is cool. I'm just like a little, I'm just a little kid. I'm a little guy. Little kid, little girl. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. <laughs> Oh, that's, oh, that's terrible. I hate that. I don't like that. That's the bathroom. It's so I short. And eating. Don't eat the two. Ew. I don't know if I could even down that if I, I were hungry. Things that night. She's malnourished, like to an abusive degree. Maybe some toilet water to finish then it up. I heard chirping outside my window. Don't tell me she grabs the bird. A swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly. Huh? <laughs> I was a cat. What the fuck? I'm a what? I'm a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. This happens all the time to me when I eat plastic cranberries off of my windowsill in my bathroom. It'd be so Not cool to cat, transform into a cat. Even look at me. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Dad looking kind of fine though, no? Be honest. Would you? This is a cool little traversing level. Wow. You can like overshoot it too. She's getting really tired. How to murder a bird. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Look how fucking big. All I big. cared about was eating that mama bird. So high I up. Gobbled her up. <laughs> and suddenly, I was an owl. <laughs> First, all I heard what? was music. <laughs> then I heard Whoa. little tiny nibbling in the grass. I'm about to eat a rat. Rabbits. 
Rabbits. <gasps> Rabbit. Imagine his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew off to find something bigger. A okay. Rabbit. I'm just fucking up the entire rabbit, rabbit population out here today. This poor mama rabbit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. But what are we feeding this girl? Like, oh. Right, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. This doesn't feel like the right environment for you to... Right, let me... I don't get it so far. I thought I was following, but then... I rolled off a cliff uh, into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Wait, this is kind of sick gameplay. Fast as fuck. I feel like that one shark from... From Finding Nemo. Is that a narwhal? I wanted fat, a seal? Seals. <laughs> I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. The fact that this is like little kid narrating this is crazy. Grabbed on tight. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What am I now? Am I an octopus? Now I was a Don't. Monster and I oh, now I've evolved from shark to monster. That's crazy evolution. Water snake? I was big, but I moved real quiet. Oh my god. We're eating good tonight, boys. Hell yeah, brothers. I like my people well done. Well done. Add some ketchup to that. It's cool how the text fades away as you walk through it. Whoever's on this boat right now is so fucked. Oh, I'm, I'm dirty for killing them while they're sleeping. No, no, no. Any guesses on what the next evolution is? This could be fucking Yeti next. It's gonna be God himself. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. <laughs> slithering snake. I'm a slithering snake. Me when I. Never mind. Slithering snake. Oh, it's the house. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it's the house. This POV is insane. I got closer and closer. I'm RPing a monster in my head right now, too. I'm like, uh, uh.
Huh. There's the front door. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. <gasps> I held my breath for a long time. What a hell of a trip. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. All right, Molly, you were on Molly. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. That is an incredible storytelling ability. That was both uncomfortable and weird. I guess I'm going to find stories from everybody's rooms. Can I climb out the window like she did? Oh. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. This so is the parents' bedroom. When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Do a flip? What are we playing? We're playing What Remains of Edith Finch. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Great Grandma Edie. Edith. She got pills on. She last took them all on Tuesday. You know she had money when she had three of the same kind of hat in different colors. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man. A mole the man. House. My mom was furious. Watch it actually be true. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long uh, time. Yeah, for not being occupied for so long, they got no dust. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. <laughs> it's every person from Florida. Oh, it's just a little hurricane. I ain't gonna leave. It's a little forest fire. Ain't stopping nobody. One summer, they evacuated the island, but... Edie refused to go. It's my home. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> okay, Edie was kind of base. Bill, 1937. Say Aaron Finch. S-V-E-N? Is that an S? Sven. Sven the Finch. People, Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Sounds cooler that way, though. <laughs> ah, look at my dragon. Tragedy strikes as Finch family pawn celebration turns to mourning or something. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Wow. Wood. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. He looks Edie like a. gave me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Blink 182 fan. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's trippy. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Family curse. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. And his house. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington <laughs> send the house and Odin to the bottom of the That's sea. crazy. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly. Okay. 
Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. That's what we're in today. What are you, you barking at? Hold on. Come here. Neighbors, we live in pamphlets for barbecues and shit on my doorstep every day. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. What All right. Wrong with this family? It goes back a long ways. Connecting the dots here. I don't know if there's like a particular order I should be finding at all, but. Sven Edie. Why is there so much caulk? I really lock everything up. So what happened to Molly? We're gonna find that out. It seems like we're getting everybody's pieces little by little. Only have two things. Oh, what the? Dude, shag rug in the bathroom is crazy. That is cr You know how fucking disgusting and filthy this has gotta be? This was a thing people actually did too, though. It's like shag rug. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It's it was so a gross. Pink <laughs> like all their like dirty feet. I I get the idea in theory where you're like, well, I take a shower. It's like a towel for my feet. But like, do we have no idea of like? Build up of bacteria. Key. Let's go. All right, all the locks. It low key does go hard though. I'm not gonna say it doesn't look good. I won't pretend it doesn't. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. This is so cool. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Whoa, that's cool, Slug. A lot of effort to make that book, though. How much money y'all spend on this place? Gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Sven. So this is the uh, the red room, right? Is that what they call it? A development room. I would do it for like aesthetic reasons, yeah. Fort Calvin. Sectioned off from the other bed. What is that? I thought it was a body. To Commander Center. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Dude, whoever drew this is very talented, though. I'm taller than that. Trust me. Odin Finch National Park. I'm not gonna lie, I would love having a room like this as a kid. A little like I base guess my above. Didn't like history any more than my mom did. Calvin. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Whoa. Yo, do I get a swing? Yo, I got the swinging mechanics. Watch this shit. Look how good my swinging mechanics my are. Said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh. Look at these mechanics. I got a broken foot. At Barbara's funeral, we swore. <laughs> he had a be of me. Again. And he wasn't. 
Wait, shit. I'm actually kind of bad at this. Yeah, if now I remember how to swing. Always wanted to fly. Not right, not right now, Mom. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Jump? I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again. Monka. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. That's where he dies. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. He wanted to go That's around. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh my god. strangely familiar when I was younger I remember trying to do the exact same thing that's very relatable like I felt like I was the one that was on that swing in third grade in my small private school trying to go to the sky After the funeral Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room oh too dead already oh I get Mom it Mom said grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again Seems very American. At least he died happy, yeah. Kinda sad. We got a family of engineers out here though. Like how one room leads to the next is crazy. Like I want my house to have this many secret passages. I'd feel so safe if I were able to get around like like I'm venting in Among the Us. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously Whoa. been built for smaller hands and bellies. It's like the living room area. I kind of want to go this way. What is that Bigfoot? Bigfoot. Up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. It is Bigfoot. My friend Bigfoot. Love that movie. Fuck. You think Bigfoot was gonna scare me? You think I thought Bigfoot was just gonna like come to life or something? Clearly that thing's not gonna come to life. I wouldn't have been scared of it. Also, side note, the doors are awesome. How they've been custom made. I want to do this for my door. Have it say duck a judge. Just have it like me with the Raiden Shogun cosplay painted on. Thanks for a thousand bits. And the jump scare. Double sided cutout. Reversible. Penelope's. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Did I say 2000? I meant thousand. You lied to me. Ooh, this is definitely moldy. Is that a calzone? Barb Street. Y'all ever use these little three glasses of the movies? I never liked them. They're novel though. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Surprising end of Barbara I'll French. Get here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it 
A surprise ending of Barbara Finch. What the hell? As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, <laughs> she was all washed up. Has been. She's washed. Lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It'd be crazy to be known for that. Just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick. Was about to demonstrate when. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father. <gasps> He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Jesus. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. She could have brought him. Okay, I'm hearing frustration. But I'm not hearing terror. <laughs> what if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Dude, I hate Why this guy. Door locked? <laughs> He's a manager. Making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks. Oh, that's a key. And I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. Here comes the real scream. She reached for the music box. Oh, they let you do it from this point of view. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. What the? Not the classic horror movie soundtrack. Found Rick's crutch and imagine the worst. Da da da. -da. Oh shit! Can I play pool with this? Where the hell are you at? Where you at, bud? Let him fuck with me. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, I made it in. Fuck, I scratched. Achievement. <laughs> This is a crazy unique POV. Start the laundry real quick. What is that? That's where dad lost his hand. God, I hate how this looks. Hulk man impaled and ate his family 10 years ago. <gasps> Stay back. I'll beat the brakes off you. Shh. Oh dear. trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. I smack him in the face. Act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you uh -oh. she threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? Okay, that's fucked up, Barbara. Barbara. When she fell asleep watching the late late what the hell? She just kept his other crunch? <laughs> Barbara! Walter? What's going on up there? Ah! 
Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. You don't care about anybody, bro. You took your boyfriend's crutch. How's he gonna get around? Why does he have crutches in the first place? I'm expecting something to pop like a pinata at some point. <laughs> Wait, I definitely can hit the skeleton, right? Oh, come on. Why does he have... Fuck that shoe. Buddy? Walter Finch. Nothing. Orcas Island police described the man as six feet tall. That's me. That's not me. All doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I pretend saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Hook man versus crutch is crazy. Do I hide? Okay, there's one. Let me practice real quick. Let me practice. That's what I would do to him if he gets near me. Hold up, Barbara kinda. Sorry. Sneak around him. Loudest door ever. Could be my boyfriend. It's gonna be my boyfriend again. Or Albert. Albert wasn't that big. He was still a kid. Huh? 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 The had what? She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was shit. Where is the brothers? The good question. Coming. Was dying to speak to young Barbara at the door. She heard whispered. I'm inside the house. Oh dear. What? Oh, it's a party. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. Oh, maybe another good kind of party. Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. That was a good scream. It's a pretty good scream. Unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. What about the brother? Yeah. Hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, 
tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. That's crazy. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. I want to die after you. That was such a good story. And then. And then that. Bro, who wrote this game? Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Oh, seven, Barbara. Happy ending. Well, damn. Now I want to know what happened to Sam. And Walter. Three down. Well, damn. Okay. No more happy birthday cake. It's fascinating to see that they never really changed the orientation of the room or like any of the cool stuff that was in the room. It's like when you lose a kid or a family member, most parents will keep the room exactly the same for a long time. Also, that is not real. That's Photoshop. All these kids just be dying out here. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Fuck! After the jack-o'-lanterns joke, I don't think anything could have truly scared me. So nice try, buddy. But it was kind of loud, I'll give you that. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, you're the thousand men. Back to 239. That's a big roll. 24 minutes. Almost 30. Whenever people ask me about my family, Thank you. the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Yeah, because she's so popular. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. It's cool to get all the little bits of lore added all together. I see why the rooms are sealed up now. They had tragic ends. Didn't want to fuck with their stuff. Oh. Creaky hallway. This is Sam and Calvin. Gregory. Zvin Eddie. Y'all having too many damn kids out here. That's what my conclusion is so far. Too much potential for heartbreak because you're having so many damn kids. stairs on the night we left. Well, okay. Break through it. All right, I'm gonna go down to the basement now with the key. This I is that Molly. Was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. I know. I'm going. Tell me, it wouldn't be fun to ride on that though, even if it is slow. You could probably mod it to go fast. It'd be kind of cool. Da, 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 da. Bang. Book. Yeah, everybody loves Barbara. Yo, I can play pool again. Give me that stick though. I'm pretty decent at pool in real life. It probably translates. Sven. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> I get it. I understand why. Black what? Sven. His family is cursed. I get that vibe. Once, carrying packages. Where's the fridge? Got something good to eat. She was hiding presents. <gasps> it turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Of course, there's another door behind the fridge. I should. That's like secret hide hideaway 101. Fake fridge. Dude, I'm so going to do that. Once about where Walter had gone. When I build the house one day. 
She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Hmm. If there's a pattern in all these stories. Yo, wait, they are doomsday prepping. We, you know damn well the Alvinos have gone expired. Those don't, those aren't shelf life savable. Pea soup's pretty good though. Tasty beans. Doomsday prepping. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Or maybe he just lived down here because he could never go upstairs. Too busy with work. Walter. Just a little radio. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I can't what? believe I've been down here for 30 years. What the fuck? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the week. Yeah. Yeah. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule. Living Peaches? I always expected to be dead tomorrow. He downed all those whole peaches. But if you wait long enough, you'd be used to anything. Saying that's how I've been in the subathon, bro. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. That's you guys. You're my monster. How is he down? Like, he doesn't even bite on me. Just and then one day. Everything just 2005 uh, now Whatever that thing was It was gone His arms have like maybe it Spots got on him waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid It's been a week now The longest in 30 years he still I'm have food. Waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. So you're gonna go now after 30 years of being here. I could be him. I am him. A lot of books. Where does he put the trash or like his poop? Fuck, dude. Oh, I thought I died. I thought that was in the I game. Out there somewhere. More peaches. <laughs> Son of. What we killed Barbara? Those no. monsters. Those actual monsters. And Calvin. And Calvin. We're gonna bust to the wall. Oh, that's my shithole. Is that my shithole? I throw my bags and stuff over there. Oh, this this room probably smells like ass. Thirty one minutes. This is all a mistake. Are you rolls, I need bro? to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. But you probably will. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, <laughs> especially the food. No more peaches. I don't mind if I only have a year left. No Maybe more peaches. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. Wow. I can already imagine the sun in my face. Don't tell me bro died to a train when he got out there. There ain't no damn way you died to it. I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Why did he stay? Bro got free after 30 years and died to a train. 
That's gonna be. I'm gonna open my door to go after this, and there's just gonna be like a railroad built in front of my house all of a sudden. That's just the end. Subathon ends. Train. He's trying to escape the curse, and the second he leaves, he dies. So you're. You literally have to be in a box as a finch. Or does that mean I'm gonna die before the game ends? Oh shit, I'm a little worried about myself. Molly died because of the bear she made her hallucinate. That makes sense now. Thought it was all like a dream. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, For 30 years. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. If only they became streamers, life would be fine. Things would be I don't absolutely fine. want to make the same mistakes she made. His poop hole. He was bored because he just didn't have Twitch. I'm trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Huh? I thought it was time I heard the stories Because of the missing Milton. And found out what happened to everyone else. I better not die on this railroad. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Whoa. You get it because he got hit by a train. Did he like like trains too? I don't know if I should even be writing this. There's the house. Wow, we got kind of far. Is that the house? We're that far away? What? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Would you guys take a deal where you had to be underground for 30 years, but you had infinite money and internet access and Amazon delivery, but you had to stay in like a but I thought you should know small about room? Family. Your family. <laughs> and the history you're a part of. This is fascinating. Seems like we got some wreckage out that way. That seems pretty big. What other details do we have? The city skyline. That looks like something I could go underwater with. Can I go into the water? I mean, shit, we're all doing that right now. You had unlimited money. Things got delivered to you. And you had internet access. We had to stay in a room that was like 500 square feet. So to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. Yeah, alone. <laughs> if you have infinite money, then you can just gift as many subs as you want your favorite streamer at tier three. I would give it to Pokimane. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. I want to get to the top. Possible. <laughs> I mean, if it's infinite, this music score is very good. Da -da 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 -da. They got a lot of manure. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? That's crazy, actually. 
It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Derpy Derpy Jr.? <laughs> Not Derpy and Derpy Jr. Burpy, chirpy, furpy. Oh, I see there's a thing. <laughs> Zerpy, lurpy, furpy, chirpy, burpy, derpy, derpy junior. Bob. Oh, wait, these are babies. Wait, are these babies or animals? These are animals. Bob lived for four years. Oliver had a pretty long life for a rabbit, right? Shadow got 10 years. Christopher's a fish. It's a pretty long life for a fish. Shotzi. I don't think Burpy, Derpy, and Zerpy are baby humans. <laughs> the Zerpy one made me think a little bit more when you said that. <laughs> I will call you Zerpy. That shit's... <laughs> yeah, wait, maybe Zerpy ain't it. 92, 95, 52, 63. Zoe, are these all animals? They're all animals. I'm getting to the conclusion that they're all animals now. That's a lot of fucking dead animals. <laughs> That's a lot of animals that are dead. I mean, they, but they didn't die like immediately. Like that one. Had over 10 years. Frog. Bailey. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. These are the people. Whoa, this is cool. You have like your little custom headstone. Bro, what should my headstone look like? Is that a morbid question? Oh, what a cool ass headstone. Like a really expensive one. She was 10. He was 11. Calvin. Sven love. He was not that old. Neither was Edith. Edith was old. Really old. Are you getting buried? I don't know. I have no idea what to. Are y'all going cremation or are you going like Barbara with a star? Why is this one just a, it's just a rock? Oh, I get it. Cause that's him before he got hit with the train. This game. Yeah. It seems really wholesome so far. <laughs> I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. That's fair. In my head, I want a memorial, but like, this is what I want when I pass on one of those. Kind of the chip. See it poking out of the water at low tide. You gotta promise me one of you will make this happen. At least one of you in this lifetime will make this happen for me, please. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. What's on the crash? Can I jump and add myself to the list? I don't know what it is, but I volunteer. If you could make me a memorial. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Don't give it massive tits. Please don't do that. The older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Oh. Sam, Gus. Been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. Gregory. She was just trying to do better. He was nine. But people don't really live a long time in this family.
Family cemeteries aren't a thing anymore either. She lost either. two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Mm. Sanjay Kumar. That's not a family name. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. That's what I want. He was a painter. Who's Sanjay? Ma bum 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 bum. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Know my family's history and luck, I would be so cautious. Gregor was only one. Oh my god, I didn't realize. How did he die? But looking back on it now. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Maybe the family just makes bad decisions. Maybe that's just what it is. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, God. She's pregnant. Maybe the family just is known for like chopping off their hands and getting like crazy stardom fans that chase her down or She looked down you have a bump. I thought I just had a little bit of a belly. I didn't want to I just thought that's how she was. I was like, well she just <laughs> Thought she just had a little belly. That's not wrong with that. I don't think they said her age. I thought I thought she was 17, but that was her sister. I think he and my mom Barbara. Common. Barbara's not her sister, I don't think. That was Edith's sister. They were both pretty intense. Hi MP. That's fucked up to the bear, man. Y'all drug the bear into this. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, he was one of them good old boys. Hell yeah, brother. I like this music. What y'all think about, um, taxidermy? Is it weird or not? Nah? I think it's kind of weird. I wouldn't want to have my pet's bodies. I want to move on. Yeah, it is strange. Some people are into it though. Especially for like family pets. Sam, he was one of them good old boys. You could tell. He got the dog tags and everything. <gasps> That's not getting measured. Oh, pick it back up. What are you doing? <laughs> Did Sam take this of himself? Is it a baby? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes. Whoa, shit. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. What am I taking photos of? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Got my eyes. Can I get one in focus photo? <laughs> How do I change the focus? Oh, oh. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Wait for it. Chef's kiss. Watch your hey, mouth, young lady. Language. That's what I said. Did you want to get a picture of me or what? Where are you? Oh, that's. <laughs> this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. 
<laughs> taking photos of the map. <laughs> Sorry, honey. It's really more okay. to not forget that map. I'm pictures, okay? <laughs> Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Oh, man. It's so funny. <laughs> Birds. God, I can't stand this. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Perfect. Aww. And I Where are the bears at? What about some? Oh, there. What the fuck? Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Wait for it. it. Sound like I'm done? Nothing quite like being outside. Hey. Amen, brother. <laughs> That's a keeper. Amen, brother. We all been there. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Yeah, your ass. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. Last time I was with my brother Cal. Haunting season. Man, that was a great trip. People pee pants is crazy. Grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Fish. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. <gasps> where are the animals at? I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Hun. Good old boy activity. Give me a minute to check the map. One more for the road. <gasps> Gun. What does it say? Poems. Is there an achievement for taking like a lot of photos or something? Let's see. Did I miss something else? Beans. Maybe. This gotta be one of the worst bokeh focal links of any camera I've ever seen in my life. What was it? <laughs> Am I missing something, Dad? Could have been. <laughs> Is the game waiting for me to take a photo of something? Hammer? A shovel? Destroying your eyes achievement. I really feel like I'm going slightly more blind. I'm not kidding. Dad, I'm really I'm tired of taking photos, Dad. Huh? Dad. What am I supposed to take a photo of? Making us all I'm sorry, I don't know what I don't know what he wants me to <gasps> Turtle. That's a rock. I think it's a rock. Drink every time he takes a photo. I don't know what I'm supposed to take a photo of. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Ah! Dad. <laughs> Good eyes, Dawn. <laughs> what eyes, Dad? I keep hitting E by accident now. 
the deep. Ooh, first try. Oh, what? Dad, I, I just breathe. Turn off your imagination. <gasps> Fire. Good dad. Now keep yourself squared up, elbows down, like we practiced. Whenever you're ready. Fox! Great shot, Don. Oh my god! <laughs> what is. Am I taking a photo of her crying? What does my face look like that for? Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad! Oh shit! these stories that's the one i wish most that my mom had told me that one was the most brutal holy dude was trying to get one photo for the gram with his caught deer and that's why we don't hunt deer sam spent his life shooting photos but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera i guess we're all afraid of something that one was brutal Got knocked off a cliff. Hmm. Calvin's the one that died, or Calvin's the one that died from being the, um, from swinging, right? And being launched off the cliff. Okay, two deaths by cliffs, one by poison, one by monster, one by train hit. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. It's the playpen. Gregory, Gregory, Dawn, and Gus. Gus was real edgy, you could tell, because he has got skateboard. Oh, this is the one-year-old? Divorce contract. K. Carlisle. Sam Finch. K. And Sam. Lawsuit's been filed against you at 20 calendar days after the summons served to a response to the attached complaint. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh Kay. when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Well, sounds like a demon. Am I a baby? Oh my god, I'm a baby. Goo goo ga ga. That's my baby RP, by the way. Yeah. This is the game of the year. Wow. Whoa. Oh shit, it moves. That shouldn't happen. That's a possessed frog, I'm gonna be honest. The eye of the whale moving. Whoa. 
What the trippy? What his world was like. Like drugs, man. I don't know. I need this last one so bad. Please tell me I get it. Yes. Gregory. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, I'm gonna drown because I'm gonna hit the water. I'm gonna drown myself to death. Whatever it was, he saw. I wanna get that G off so bad. Yes. Yes! I knew it would. Da 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 and da 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 Sure made him happy. I'm gonna drown the baby. Da 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 I know how silly it sounds. Whoa. How do I drown? But I can feel him slipping away. Sorry about that, Gregory. Oh. I know you did everything. Oh. Well. Yeah, I wouldn't drown him. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Oh, hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. <gasps> Turn it off! Turn it off! No, 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 no! Don't drown the baby! Wait, wait, it was a joke! Don't drown the baby! Don't drown the baby! He's a baby! Don't drown the baby! Fuck! Fuck! Well. Frog POV. <laughs> Dude, I, it's one of my worst fears as a parent. I'm not a parent, but like, this is the reason why I don't know if I could. I mean, I wouldn't draw my baby, but I'm just saying like, it's just a scary idea. This is completely on accident by the mom's part. Crazy. That was really good music, though. All right. Well, Gregory. Poor kid. You can leave a one-year-old in the bath alone. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you might want to emphasize that can't. I thought you said can't. I'm like, oh, maybe they are able to take care of themselves. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. <laughs> Short life. Poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never Whoa. hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my Whoa. father said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Okay, this is one of the coolest games with how like the text works. This is such smart father made him come game first, design. But Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. This is the wedding. Stop! Stop the wedding! Stop it! How do I stop the wedding? How do I crash this thing? Yeah, eat shit! Stop the wedding! No! No! <gasps> what is the 
face there. What the heck? When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gustav no. Him as a sign held up his middle finger. <laughs> Eat shit, Dad. That's crazy. The kid just held up his middle finger. <laughs> Belt lost all damn mine. Geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Man, wedding day turning into tragedy is crazy. Whoa. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. They've hit the tent! Music louder. That's not a good response to tornadoes. Listen, if you're if you have chairs flying above like this, I think we need to have a talk, Dad. Oh, oh! Did I do that? I did that. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Talk about crashing a wedding. <laughs> For real. She never talked about it. That one was really sad. Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. That's a terrible name. Wow, mom really doesn't talk about the death of a lot of these uh, of these kids, does she? She just just leaves those details out. No playing outside without permission. No answering the stores for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. They have their own light switches. It's like PA speaker, bro. What's up, King Lugia? Gus had to mop and mow the yard. Greg's <laughs> duties be a baby. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had that job. That'd be so lit. All right, routine. Jumping jacks, push-ups, crunches. What was the fucking workout routine? 7 a.m. raise flag, breakfast at a.m., quiet time at 11 p.m. Be a baby. This is kind of cool. You got a rock wall in your house? My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Did she climb this? At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Now when she's pregnant now, it makes me so scared. She's like out of breath. India. I don't like the creaking. Holy Bible. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Huh. To cope. Usually how it goes. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. <gasps> That's the name of the the dude who's also dead. He's also dead. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. So we moved back into this house afterwards? Like, hey, at least they had solar panels. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Mm -hmm. Edith, Milton, Lewis. We got mint, thyme, sage, basil. And to see kids in the house again. I don't know. Lou was kind of cooking up the herbs. Nobody else got anything. Sage. Oh, wait. Dawn. 
the house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. I love how the expansion of bigger is up, not out. And for is this a while, school? Things were good, almost normal. It's like a school. A D E H I L V Z R U M Q. That's just like the book order. I thought those were abbreviations or something. Never stop learning, chat. Never. <gasps> Pride flag spotted. Great job being gay. But it is that like last. galactic space pride? The curse. Oh, you you did a a, a project on the curse. That's a little scary. You wrote your own books? Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. Okay, damn, not the 2004 Apple MacBook. I feel like everybody had these shells on their MacBooks back in the day too. If you had one, like an Apple laptop. It's like really colorful shells. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. When Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Interesting. I hurt my eye. This was the prettiest. Loki would like to have this view the most. Imagine sitting right here on a late night like tonight and looking out at that view a fog fog foggy view can I get in oh nice why did they seal off the doors if the windows were so easy to get in <laughs> All that effort just to like this is actually the coolest room yet though i would love to have this little room as a kid that little bed looking out at the sea it reminds me of kingdom hearts where sora's bedroom was near the sea i like that oh that's not real i thought it was real Because at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts, his mom's like, Sora. But he doesn't answer. Da, da, da. Can we talk about how good this music is? It's fucking good. Milton. Milton Finch in The Magic People. Oh. Whoa. Dude, I remember doing this same thing with a bouncy ball as a kid because I saw somebody on Nickelodeon do it. Take a little circle and keep drawing it around. I would always do that shit. I thought I was an artist. I was four when Milton disappeared. So there's no trace of him. He's the unknown. He look cool though. Da, 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 Mom's da, got a searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. <laughs> it's like a 7,000 page flip note. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Hmm. Did I like drive here? Where's my car? Oh, I go up around that way, I see now. 
Hmm. Something else Milton found that wasn't good, perhaps. Perhaps. <sighs> no, but you've done a bad thing. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. You've inspired the next generation. Night, dude. These high rolls gotta stop. After I'm never gonna he leave. Spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. I never realized I could actually look in these peepholes. Everyone was hoping to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. He definitely smoked weed, for sure. Definitely a pothead. Thank you for the thousand bits, gentle. Now we're raising up the next generation of jump scarers. Bro has a boat to live out of? This does not seem safe. You got a hookah. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Weed. Legalize marijuana. <laughs> Legalize marijuana. Hell yeah, brother. Oh shit, he got the PS1 Wonderland Turbo Edition? Oh, that's a big monitor. Holy. What? This is a vo This would be a great, great room. Oh. <laughs> Still look fresh. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. Oh. He died a lot. Oh, well, it's funny how that ended up for him. High school diploma. Wait, oh my God. Quality cigars. He even was a PC gamer too. Damn, how much weed did this dude have? Got them Logitechs. Got some beer. Oh, okay, taking some pills. Red King's Dream. He got hella weed. I don't know, he's just taking everything. Don Finch. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's Mrs. psychiatrist, I can oh. understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, Nearly Whoa. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, I'm a, f I'm a fish. I'm a, oh shit. No, I don't want to do this to the fish. Oh. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. I want to shove it in there. Ready? Ugh. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Wait, stack it up. Let's stack it up. Can I, do, can I double fist? His mind began to. Sorry. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Can I put my hand in here? Wonder. Oh. What? Oh, it's a it's a game in the game. Oh, this is trippy. I asked him to describe it. This is really trippy. He said he started small. This is what it's like to autopilot. You're doing one task Imagine while your brain's on something else. He'd feel his way about. It's a really good way of putting it. Is he playing an it's MMORPG? Bats. And toads. Is this a roguelike? What are my buffs? And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Is it dead end? Oh shit. He took it very seriously. 
I had hoped he'd find himself. This is trippy. But he found something more. Wow. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. You can cut your hand off if you're not careful. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Really? Methodical, tireless, focused. This is such autopilot vibes. Like a whole new Lewis. Adderall! Adderall, it's Adderall. I've never done Adderall. I even encouraged. Uh oh. Can't see the fish anymore. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hi, hey, buddy. Until it's like something you only think about. It keeps getting bigger. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Yeah, yeah. Hear ye, hear ye. Come along, Jester. This is Adderall Town. Positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Is this what it's like to play RuneScape? <laughs> This is always, I always picture RuneScape like this. I've never done Adderall, I promise. I missed. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. I'm losing track of what I'm doing. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Da, 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 he no da, longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. S yeah, it sounds like schizophrenia. Then one day it struck him. At all the cheering crowds. Even the stones under his feet. Were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Uh, you, uh, what? Not anything, right? He held an election for mayor. <laughs> We're getting political. And he won. By a landslide. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Wow. This is just like One Piece. Conquer a city, then immediately push on. We are on a cruise. Maybe we Lewis are. Comp is left behind. St. Louis. Only slow us down. He started drifting away from our reality. Ugh. It's like two the games within the game. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Shut up, mom. I'm cutting fish right now. No, you want fish? I see you're in the top left of my, my like, peripheral vision. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Handsome queen, beautiful, pr handsome queen, girl. Handsome queen. Yep. Minneapolis Lewis is really good. I just, it's, <laughs> I uh, totally missed that. The queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. No, she was, she was bisexual, radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Yep. I'm still doing my job. I'm still doing my job. He followed the sound of her. 
Uh, electric sitar. Electric sitar. This is incredible. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. I can't see anything. I'm just playing an entirely different game now. <laughs> like... He knew the world was all in his imagination. I got fish piling up. Let's go. Go fast. Yo, I kind of look good, though. But he was so proud of having created it. <gasps> In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. I'm impressed he's still just cut fish in general at this point. Here ye, ye, here ye. Success in the real world. I think it was overwhelming. Dance for me, jesters. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. No, 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 no. Mm. Sorry, I'm RPing being high. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, what? Back to reality, I guess. Bloody mop. He began to forget the world we know. Whoa. This is okay. Try to guess which locker is Lewis's. It could be any of these. It could be any of them. <laughs> what kind of Game Boy is that, bro? And he's also got the pamphlet for the one Chinese food place that delivers. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. This place probably smells terrible. That's me. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Finch. Hey man, you ain't gotta do this, all right? You're not even cutting fish right now, buddy. It's the Addy. Who am I right now? Oh, I am him. Poor guy ain't even cutting fish. He had like a lip ring and everything. I still thought I could save him. Even after he hey. said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh. I'm up. I'm awake. The palace would be packed with his companions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's kind of weird we got a conveyor belt here in the palace, but you know. <laughs> when you got so much fucking money, why not? Hey, what's up? I see you over there. What's up, Russell? Hey, yo, Brandy. That's Brandy in the back. The wise calico, insisted on inviting. I like that one. The 
there was only one thing left to do. Let's do this. Oh god. Oh god. Ah! Best, I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That was crazy. Lewis. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. That was crazy, man. That was the best one yet. Yeah, wow. This has got to be one of the coolest games I've ever played with that one level alone. The game in the game with his slow descent into madness until she eventually killed himself because he tripped out into thinking he was getting coronated into king. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. This is styrofoam. But I understand why we left. Pack of peanuts. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Yeah, went to Paris. The rooms are so cozy. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. She at least had a lot of copies of it. Edith. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh. Little paper guards. Whoever made this is very good at making paper art. Same little guy as that was in Lewis's head. Edith. Edith Finch. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hall. <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. Oh, I'm sorry, God. You're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Edith's little gloves. Grandma could put away some red wine. Creepy ass house. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. I can't even fit up there, can I? afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house hmm. Edith has a right to know these stories my children are dead because of your stories 
I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. History of the Finches by Edith the Finch. Oh, shit. Dude, my gloves are so cool. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. <sighs> that night, the tide went way, way out. Whoa. There's like no water at all. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. No, Ew. I've seen that house every day of my life. Never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Huh. Let's keep going straight. I got turned around. Don't deviate, it's a big rock. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing huh. things. That shouldn't be out here. Sea deer. Call that a seahorse. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Kitchenware, tables. I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Eat it. What are you doing in here? Oh, man. It's mine. Edith. Mom, you're going to rip it. Let go. Give it me. Ah. Oh. Mom dragged me to the car. Never got to finish the story. I never saw great grandma Edie again. No. Grandma. No. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. I loved doing that as a kid. We both tried to make the best of it. <laughs> it's a cool text effect. I should do that as an adult. <laughs> a few years went by. I love how she still wears gloves like this. Whoa, that's crazy. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Sorry, I didn't know it was supposed to laugh. But she started getting sick a lot. Uh. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Dawn Fitch. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. But I am pregnant. Until I found out about you. Oh, baby. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Huh? 
I'm swimming. Oh my this god, I'm coming out the canal. To be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. I'm the baby. I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Is this what birth's really like? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Whoa. Shout out to Shirley Dallas. Cool last name. So we never got to finish the grandma story. Edith was 18, by the way. She died 1999 to 2017. She had the baby first. And passed away during childbirth. That's crazy. That is one of the most mind-bending adventures for a video game I've ever had. And it was only what? That's two hours a game. That's a two-hour game. That's crazy. Damn. Milton went missing. Sam's stuff was tragic. Lewis is probably the best. Lewis is probably one of the greatest ones that we saw. Because his was so, like, game in a game. <laughs> Amori and Undertale are on my list to play. Especially Undertale, because I started that years ago and never finished it. See? Joanne's name in the ending. Does that not usually happen? Are there different endings to this game? Depending upon the route that I take? We don't ever really know what happened to Milton. Yeah. Omori and uh, Undertale are on my list. Yeah. They're up there to play. And this kid's is how the other generation of chatters were born. <laughs> I love how they went back and got all the people who worked on this project's baby photos. The saddest one was the baby drowning. Or maybe like... The... The dad getting knocked off by the deer. It was kind of tragic. Sam. I'll probably bo play both of them. What do you guys want more? Play something light in between. Yeah, that's so depressing, right? Yeah, I can't talk about... Uh, I can't express how good that was. For first playthrough. It's like hard to wrap your mind around it was that good. The music was phenomenal. The artwork was great. It was per it, perfect length. If it went any longer, it might not have even felt the same. It was so short, but so sweet. The uncle that got hit by the train was kind of a cool story, too. Out of 10, that was like a 9-5. Joanne is probably the person responsible for setting up all the achievements. That's why you got one. Uh oh <laughs> uh oh it's apparently the person responsible. A Joanne achievement. I did get a couple of extra achievements like the pool one and then the bathtub stuff. I probably missed some, but. I like the credits too. Let me be in my little sad world. What's up, Cypress? Hollow Knight or Hades? Hades is up there, but it's probably like a little lower on the list.
I think Hades could be a bit longer, can't it? These shorter games are like my bread and butter. I love playing them. They're easy to one shot. They're a good experience. The end. Tytham. Pulled rigged. The replay story options now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Oh, shit. So just start it from the top. Can you play as somebody else? Or you can just play their story again individually, right? Gotcha. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Sick game. <laughs>